This weather report brought to you by Drumstick Ice Cream. Fudge is here. Tonight's 7 News headlines, Ash Barty becomes the first Australian to win a home a Grand Slam tournament in more than four decades. A $1 billion support package to help New South Wales businesses struggling through the Omicron wave. And more than 100 suspects arrested in a crackdown on Sydney's warring crime families. Now here's Angie with Sydney's weather. Thanks very much, Mark. It's been a beautiful weekend, but we finished it off this afternoon with hot and humid conditions. Today's top was 30 degrees in the CBD, our warmest day in three weeks. Very close to temperatures in our west. 31 was the warmest at Penrith and Richmond. Otherwise, most suburbs hovered around 29 or 30 degrees. The latest satellite image shows a humid air mass interacting with a trough sitting right through western New South Wales. That's producing some severe storms in yellow. The main concern is for heavy rainfall. Now tomorrow the area of wet weather continues to impact inland parts of the state mainly while some onshore winds will also drive a few showers onto the coast. To the capitals it's looking very summery. Brisbane a possible shower 32 degrees. Canberra 29 with a late stormy change. Heating up again in Melbourne 30 degrees. Hobart big blue skies a humid 25. Adelaide also hot, 35, mostly sunny, 34 for Perth. Darwin showers in 31. Now around the state, a shower or two is forecast along the coast. We continue to see the potential for more storms. They may become severe late in the day, especially through the south. But overall, plenty of fine breaks and daytime temperatures should be a touch below average. Now the metro region will be partly cloudy tomorrow. Maybe a storm in our west during the afternoon and evening. Otherwise, just a light shower may push onto the coast briefly. Tops mid-20s through the east and low 30s in our west. On the water, variable winds at first will run at 10 knots, swinging around to the northeast at 10 to 15 knots by early afternoon. Now, another warm night in the CBD, 20 degrees, aiming for a top of 29 a little bit later in the afternoon. It's going to be a partly cloudy day. There's just the chance we'll see that light sprinkle. Nothing major, though. To the week ahead, Tuesday, also fine, very warm, 30 degrees in the city, 34 in our west. Wednesday brings a sharp drop in temperature, 10 degrees cooler in our west with 24 degrees. We'll also see some showers with that cool change. Those showers and milder temperatures will stick around through the heaviest falls late in the week and then even continuing around this time next week. But first, a couple more days of sunshine to enjoy, Mark. A warm start to the working weekend. Will be. That is 7 News for this Sunday. Nice to be back. We'll have updates for you throughout the evening. I'm Mark Ferguson from all the team. I hope you have a great night.